What's up everybody? It's your boy C-Dub and in today's video we're going to be talking about why the manager of ESTG was arrested by the feds. Everybody please hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell and turn to all if you like this video and want to see more videos like this one. The manager for a famous Louisville rapper is under arrest and in indicted for some major federal cha charges. A music manager of the Louisville rapper ESTG, or George Stone, has been arrested by the FBI. Eric Mosley was taken into custody Thursday afternoon. He is charged with possession with intent to distribute a controlled substance, possession of a firearm in furtherance of a drug trafficking crime, and possession of a firearm by a prohibited person after the FBI said he was found with guns and drugs. If convicted, he faces a minimum of 10 years in prison and a maximum penalty of life in prison. According to the FBI, their Safe Street Task Force caught up with Mosley at a Louisville hotel and served a warrant. They said Mosley had a kilogram of cocaine, 100,000 in cash, and an AK-style pistol, and a stolen handgun. Sounds to me like they just caught up with Tony Montana. This guy was out here thinking the world was his, allegedly. It was discovered that Mosley was also one of the people behind a $300,000 full cash bond for a person accused of killing a three-year-old Trinity Randolph and her father Brandon Waddles in August of 2020. Kivon Lawless, aka Lucada, is now facing the death penalty in relation to their deaths. Once the bond was paid, Lawless was released on home incarceration, but he would later be brought back into jail for a separate parole violation. Lucada's release sparked outrage among the community and families of the victims. Randolph's family discovered Lawless was out of jail through social media videos Lawless posted bragging about being out. The Randolph family said the Louisville Metro Department of Corrections had incorrectly insisted that Lawless was still in custody days after his release. A copy of the checks that added up to $300,000 for Lawless's bond have been released and it was discovered that $135,000 was paid for by Mosley and Stone's business called Everybody Shine Together LLC. I can almost guarantee that everybody out there in Louisville right now is hating uh, ESTG and his manager for putting up bond for an accused killer of a three-year-old child. ESTG has worked with big artists in the rap game like Jay-Z and Yo Gotti. Yo Gotti filmed a music video with ESTG shortly after signing him. ESTG was named Hip Hop Rookie of the Month in July by Billboard. He's appeared on national shows such as Jimmy Kimmel and performed on other nationally syndicated stages. In a song released by ETSG on July 21st, 2021 called Sky Dweller, he raps about bailing Lucada out of jail. He says, they want one mil for Lucada. No, I'm coming to get you, baby. No, my heart might get me killed, but it got me here, so risks I'm taking. That definitely doesn't seem like the smartest thing ETSG could have done, and it certainly could end up getting him killed. Lucada has pleaded not guilty to the killings, and Mosley has made his first appearance in federal court last Friday afternoon. So you got ESTG's manager out here allegedly living the Tony Montana lifestyle, which if he's convicted, we can pretty much say goodnight to the bad guy. Maybe with some good lawyers he could beat the case though, but if he was really caught red-handed with a kilo of coke and guns, then it's not looking good at all for him. Then you got ESTG and Mosley putting up $300,000 bond for an accused killer of a three-year-old, that's not gonna look good on your image in the streets at all. Don't get me wrong, I absolutely get it though if that's their homie, and it's not like he's actually been convicted of the crime yet. This is absolutely a perfect example though of what will happen if you live with one foot in the streets and one foot in the rap game. I don't know exactly what kind of evidence they have stacked against Lucada, but let's hope he didn't run down on his father while he was with his child. If it was known that this man was with his daughter at the time of the shooting, then he definitely should have been given a pass. That that's exactly what would have happened back in the day, but people don't really follow the street code like they used to. I send my condolences out to the family and friends of this three-year-old child and father that was shot to death. It's absolutely heartbreaking to hear that a three-year-old child was involved in a murder. And I ask that y'all leave a comment down in the comment section below and let me know what y'all think about the situation. Until next time, y'all.